Hey guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. Happy Friday. I've got a brand new digital plan with me video for you guys today and I'm going to be using other, another one of my dashboard stickers. So I'm going to create a very simple ish, I mean as simple as I can get, daily spread and I'm going to show you how I transformed this pretty simple page into this in just a few minutes. So it's a pretty short video, really simple. I even copied stuff from a day before. So I have my to-do list and I can't wait to share it with you guys. And don't forget that all the resources are going to be linked in the description so you can grab everything and subscribe to see more videos. Alright, so for this video, I am working in my Zodiac one month planner. It's an undated planner and comes with lots of different page templates. So this is one of the many page templates for a daily spread and I am going to customize it and make it my own. So I'm going to start out by grabbing one of my dashboard stickers from the Zodiac collection and it's just really simple to use the image tool to resize it. Remember, if it goes crooked, use the image tool, it'll straighten it back out and just line it up with a page. And look, one side of my page is just decorated, like pretty much done. We're going to add some other notes to it, but already that's like a big transformation for this page. And I'm going to pull in other stickers that pull in some of the, the same, you know, blues and golds and blacks from this collection. And I, instead of going with the today header that's on this page, I'm going to use one of these little paper note stickers from the collection that's blue and gold glittery. And I'm just going to lay it right over the top of this to cover it up. You can use um, a screenshot of the white area on the page to co cover that up if you want that to be like a different size. But I'm just covering up. And this is the Zodiac Blue and Gold Celestial sticker book. I have a black and gold one too. And I'm just going to use this blue solid color box. And I'm just going to add a little color to my date area here at the top. Sometimes I end up covering up this little date area and other times I use it. Um, for this, I'm going to cover up just the date part. And then I'm just going to do a different font over the top of it and call it date. Remember to turn off your image selection if you just want to move a font, um, text, whatever. You know what I mean. And then I'm just going to write out my date and throw it up here. This is from September. Obviously, we're in January now. But that's just, it's already, it's coming together. It's coming together. But what I want to do is I want to use this same thing here where I use the, the blue color in the background and this text. And I'm going to customize my morning, afternoon, and evening headers. Now, one thing to remember, if you are using these paper notes, they have like a pretty big shadow area so that they look realistic. So if I were to use the lasso tool to move um, the the image for this like this colored box that's going to kind of be in the way so we'll have to move that out of the way so that's something to remember if you're using these paper notes to get that realistic look you have a larger shadow but since i already have my text i can just you know rework this here i'm going to move that out of the way so i'm not messing with the shadow so i can copy this and then i can just paste it now that i've got my settings where i want it's centered up and all good I can just paste it over here for the afternoon and change the label and do the same thing for evening so that you don't have to like recreate it every time. It's just time saving. Once you have your settings, once you know what you want it to look like, you just lasso it, copy and paste and change your text and you're good to go. And this is just like a fun way to a fun and simple way to add some of like the color scheme that you want to go 
on your spread because it's just just that little hint of color that's nice right so this is the matching um celestial sticker book this is the black and gold and i'm going to show you a little workaround for using these little header labels when you have a wide area so i'm going to choose the the box that matches those little text headers and this is just like the plain box, like what we used up at the top. And I'm just going to stretch it out. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if I pull in this to-do list header right here and put it there, if I were to stretch it out to fit that whole area, like it would really distort the, the text and you don't want that. So by layering it up with the same color solid box behind it, you can just, it essentially just hides it and you can just layer that up and it's good to go and I'm talking with my hands a lot and you guys can't see that so because I did not do a webcam thing today because I'm just I'm tired I'm tired I haven't done my makeup yet and uh, yeah so that's where we're at okay so I'm gonna use that same technique for a project header and I'm just gonna crop this down at the edge so it's a, a little bit closer to the side and still works with you know that black box that I've got going on and how simple is that that's simple it works and since this was done in September this is my exclusive mini bundle for CHQ little mini calendars and I can just pull this in it matches the theme of course and just layer it right there and how cute is that how pretty it's just simple I went with like a super simple spread this time and because I was like saving myself some effort I decided to just copy my ongoing to-do list and my project list from the day before and I'm just going to change the color of these text boxes because it's just a customized text box here in GoodNotes and so I'm just changing the background color changing the font color so that it works with with this little dashboard sticker that I have here and I'm also going to change up the size a little bit so it's a little bit smaller so I see more of like the the background behind it and having like these customized text boxes is another easy way to like decorate your page in like a certain color scheme without using stickers and just keeping it simple so I didn't have to like type all that stuff again this is just like my running list and I'm going to do just a couple more pieces of decoration here and turn back the image selection back on. And I just love this little washi. It's like, it's all, you know, galaxy type of vibes going on in blue. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to layer up this do something great sticker from this matching set. Just layer up this quote on it. And I, I just love that, right? Now we're going to do a little bit more decoration with accessories. So this is the accessory bundle that matches the Zodiac collection. And I just, I love the look of paper planning, but the convenience of digital planning. So I like that realistic look. So throwing on these realistic kind of accessories, I think it's just really fun. And it's just like, like I'm decorating my desk is kind of what it feels like. Um, Side note, by the way, the decoration in the background of this video, like these little glowing elements, like why am I pointing at them? You can't see what I'm talking about, but like behind the iPad in this little video scene, those are the glowing Zodiac stickers from this collection. If you love those, they seem to be a really good seller right now. So, I mean, grab those. They're really fun. Um, and then some accessories, uh, some freebies that match this collection are kind of thrown in the background here too, but... This is just like a fun, really simple spread that I can, you know, add my notes to. It's good to go. And that's it. That's all, you guys. That's it. All right. I'm out. Bye.